What's up, you guys? Levi, the Africa Great Guy here. Welcome once again to the Off the Grid Podcast. Today is Thursday, June uh, June 2nd, 2016. This is episode 125 of the Off the Grid Podcast. All right, making a real quick video today. I want to show you guys around um, the Off the Grid Camper and get you guys kind of up to speed on some things that I've been working on the last month or so. So, let's get going. All right, it's kind of hard to make out but I've got a citronella plant here and this is one of several that I've planted to uh, help keep the mosquitoes out. This is actually quite close to the camper. I've got a bunch of other things around here and I uh, see a little salamander, lizard, I'm not sure what they are but cute little guy. And he's also very timid. <laughs> All right, this is some screened-in material that, as long as I've got time, I'm going to build a screened-in area. Uh, All right, the walking sticks, the canes. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of them. I've got even more. I've just not gotten to them yet. Over here, uh, I've got the old compost pile. And as you can see, a good bit of dirt has been dug out, but there are actually, yeah, there are a number of plants growing all around it. Now, looks like these here are squash. Uh, I've seen some flowers in there, the yellow flowers, uh, a little while back. So now there's squash going. Also got tomato plants here. Uh, let's see, there's another tomato plant there. All of these are volunteer plants. They just kind of sprung up. Now, I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm just not identifying yet, but this is my old compost pile. These are volunteer plants. Okay, this is the newest addition to the off-the-grid uh, homestead here. <laughs> this is my Toyota 4Runner. And I love it. I am absolutely ecstatic. Uh, it is a wonderful ride. And no, I'm not talking about the styrofoam container here. That's to cover the license plate because I don't want to broadcast all over the internet. <laughs> uh, the 4Runner is four-wheel drive. And uh, a friend actually hooked me up on it. So I got a really good deal. And I don't have to worry about getting stuck in the mud. Uh, and that was a, a serious concern here uh, every time it rained. So, I love it. Uh, okay, let's move on. The fence. Okay, as you can see, I've still got to put up a door. Uh, the fence here is... I'm watching my step. fence is, for the most part, most of it's around the camper here. Now, I'll go inside the garden area and show you around there. Um, but the fence is to keep out all the critters, the animals, anything like that once the plants do start going. Okay, here we are inside the fenced-in area. And as you can see, this is the other side of the spot here where I need to put a gate. Um, as you can see, right along the very base, all the way down, all the way down here, I've planted okra and lots of it. Now, you see these little twigs, branches, on the other side of the okra. I have planted these little beans. Now, uh, these beans grow to be about two foot long. I'm not sure if they're going to work or not because uh, I found the, the beans that were sitting in the trunk of my car for over a summer and we will see what Mother Nature does, but if it does uh, come to fruition, these will be some incredible beans. So I put the twigs up here so that the, the beans would grow up the twigs and not strangle out the okra. So I'll actually put a picture in here so you can see the beans themselves. Those were the two foot long beans that I had uh, a couple of years ago. Yes, they're incredible. Um, okay, speaking of beans, we've got these beans right here. These are all uh, pole beans. And up here is the burlap. 
uh, which I'm gonna probably put some twigs and branches there so they'll grow up. Burlap and also the shading area of the camper. As you can see, it's doing a pretty good job right now. Now this right here is actually a solar project that I did not finish over the winter, so that will be coming down. I'm gonna take that down and put up a, another form of shade over here because the sun can be brutal and especially when you're in a toaster oven the size of a camper. <laughs> okay, on to the garden. Okay, the main part of the garden here, I've got a raised bed wood core pool culture style uh, garden going. And uh, if you check out some of the other videos, I dug a trench all the way down, buried some tree limbs, logs, branches, and put the dirt back on top and then put about four or five inches of uh, leaves and grass clippings. So that really helps to keep the moisture in to minimize the amount of watering I've got to do. Now, got some more citronella, citronella plants here. Um, that's a watermelon. Of course, tomato plants. And we've got some pepper plants over here. We've got some pickling cucumbers here. It's uh, another watermelon. Now, the reason I did this, uh, some of the watermelon, I'm curious to see if I can just kind of run it all along the, the base here. And I planted at different ends to see what might work best. Now, as for the tree branches here, if you're wondering, um, I'm going to use those to help to stabilize the fence um, and also to help to kind of stabilize the plants as they grow taller. And I'm going to tie them up to uh, the branches and I'm going to need to probably put some more down for the tomato plants growing in there because I've actually got some that are falling over right now. And they haven't been growing that long, but nonetheless, uh, they are really off to a strong start. So, let's see if I can find some tomatoes for you. Oh. There's one in there. I know there are a few tomatoes in here. I've, saw, I've seen them. And uh, they're going, so I'm pretty excited there. So, as you can see, the garden's off to a really good start. Um, I've still got a good work, a good amount of work ahead of me, and well, a couple other things here. I got a new uh, fire pit dug out, a bunch of twigs and branches, and oh, one more, one, one other thing, the wing chung dummy I've been working on. I took the bark off of it, and uh, be another project down the road. But one of the main things I've been working on is just the garden here. <laughs> Anyways, um, till next time, hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, this is Levi, the Off Grid Guy. This is the Off the Grid Podcast. This has been episode 125. You can check it out at offthegrid.tips, T-I-P-S. And until then, until next time, you guys have a great one.